I was born and raised in Ketchikan, Alaska um, uh, throughout the early 70s. Uh, my father was a veterinarian. The uh, clinic was attached to our house and I helped out lots in terms of um, assisting in the operating room and so forth. Um, one of my big decisions was do I go into medicine or do I go into veterinary medicine? Um, and then once I decided to go into uh, medicine for people, uh, one of my big decisions was do I go into surgery or do I go into family practice. I was a commercial fisherman through my college summers and the first few summers of medical school. I ended up getting that job because uh, I was a soccer coach when I was a junior and senior year in high school and a couple of the kids that I coached, their parents were uh, owners of this commercial fishing boat. And um, uh, I was looking for a way to pay for school and I said, geez, it can't be much better than that. When I interviewed here, the resident that took us on the tour took us to the top floor of Main Medical Center and she said, you know, you work really long hours here. You get a great uh, uh, education and great training here, but time is short. And she said, there's the ocean and there are the mountains. I said, sign me up. I met and married uh, a woman from Westbrook. And um, Carolyn is now the chief of anesthesia here. So she's an anesthesiologist. So when we were looking for uh, jobs, uh, this was a place that accommodated both a surgical position and an uh, anesthesia position as well. Interestingly, my first job here in town uh, was right across the hall um, with one of the other surgeons. And um, after a couple of years in practice, I went out on my own. I managed my own practice for 10 years. And then uh, I came back to St. Joe's. And, um, I've loved it here the whole time. This hospital is amazing. General surgery, um, uh, it's hard to say it's everything else, but it's kind of everything else. So when you take out the orthopedics, you take out uh, chest surgery, um, you know, general surgery encompasses much of the other procedures that you think about. Um, so general surgeons deal with, you know, lots and lots of abdominal surgery. Uh, they deal with lots of skin and subcutaneous surgery. Um, they deal with uh, endocrine problems, um, breast problems. Um, so the abdominal types of things, you know, hernias and gallbladders are very common. Colon surgery is a very common part of what we do. Um, with laparoscopic surgery, uh, um, hiatal hernias, um, uh, adrenal gland surgery, liver surgery, pancreas surgery. You know, there's a very, very broad breadth of things. Being in a smaller hospital, we don't have a bunch of residents everywhere, and so it takes away some of that educational feel of a place. But at the same time, um, when somebody comes to see me, they get me. They don't get me and three residents that I'm teaching, um, and who may be learning from them. And so, you know, when I've done a procedure, uh, it was done by me, and the experience that comes from that is something that I gain and, and so I think the providers here learn nuances of things that you might not as much in a larger teaching hospital. Um, you know there's a great benefit to doing a volume of surgery and so when you've done the same procedure 500 or 1000 times I think you get to be quite good at it. Um, same thing in cardiology, same thing in rheumatology, you know there's the providers that are here do a phenomenal job.